And then she starts talking to me about how she's like friends with a bunch of Fox News commentators. So I just like, I couldn't hold it in. I ended the broadcast last night after seven and a half hours because it's half day, baby. You know what? It, it's summertime. I'll admit, dude, it's over for me. Like I'm, I'm a bad worker. I'm a bad employee. I am your worst employee of all time. I'm a part-time streamer officially. You know, I've given up seven and a half hours. I mean, who's, who is that? I lied like, about gaming. I lied about watching fun reacts. I lied about it all because yesterday was Friday and we were doing the news on Friday. So now obviously fun days today, which is like it's Saturday. Everybody comment personal news first personal news i ended the broadcast I, I did a photo shoot for the new merch i'm wearing it new merch is going to feature some of the old bangers maybe in some new colorways you might be excited for that including this one which is now a t-shirt capitalism and decay world tour you can probably see it and then after that i went out it's a big freaking deal guys i went outside that's right drop date is coming up close super close super soon but I went to a party. My friend was throwing a party at some like fancy highfalutin lounge social club type situation called the San Vicente Bungalow. You know, it's fancy schmancy. Anyway, I went out because like I was like, you know what? I haven't gone out in a while. I'll do it. So I go out. I go to this fancy schmancy party and like I know only like a couple people there, like the party organizer I know and like one other person. And it's like it's so wack in that situation because it's like. How am I going to go to a party that my friend's throwing and I don't know anybody there? Like, what the hell is that? You know what I mean? But whatever. Somebody comes up to me and um, <laughs> I spent the entire time talking to them. It was a couple. One of them works for uh, a DC think tank. I'm not going to say which one, um, but she was like, oh, we want to link you up with some with some politicians. And I was like, oh, that's a great like I would love that. This party was all like normies, executives, you know, because we're old like i i forget that like i'm an old man so when i go to like an age appropriate function like everyone else is either my age or older and most of them have like stable jobs so like i was talking to this lawyer lady who was like telling me about how she's like a republican and whatever and then she starts talking to me about how she's like friends with a bunch of fox news commentators so I just like, I couldn't hold it in. I just, we, you know, she starts like being a little bit more contentious, a little bit more contentious. So I finally blurted it out. I was like, listen, I'm going to let you know. I, you know, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to let you know. This is a separate uh, woman I was talking to. She's 45 years old. She's a lawyer. I was like, I am what some might consider a socialist. And my friend is there too. And she's like talking about, you know, oh, well, when are you going to grow up and grow out of it? And I was like, I'm also what Fox News might consider a terrorist. <laughs> and I pulled out the Hassan Piker has raised $1 million for Hamas Fox News article. <laughs> it did shut it down. It shut the conversation down. It was a really cool way. She was like, ah, ah, like, I don't think she, she probably, well, first of all, face is shaved, right? We got the baby face killer out. This is my, my different ego character, right? This baby face Hasi in the building. And also I had the hair down too. So that's like, you're thinking I'm like probably, you know, late twenties at that point, baby face, Hasi, hair down late twenties. Right. And cause like, remember this woman is like also like 45 years old and like everyone she sees got the Hollywood Botox face. So she's used to like people looking like aliens in general. So she's thinking like I'm some dumb like college kid or something. And you know, even though dumb college kids are still infinitely smarter than she is. So, you know, I had to, I had to shut it down. I had to shut the conversation down and be like, listen, we are on totally separate planets on this politics stuff. I think we should just, you know, she literally left after that. She was like, I have to go get a drink. She had kids. Nah, I don't think so. But yeah, cause she said you'll grow out of it. That's why I was like, listen, I don't think I'm going to grow out of it. <laughs> I'm, I think I've grown into it. <laughs> If anything, should differing opinions on politics stop people from interacting, though? She seems a bit odd. Well, I wanted the conversation to end for sure, though, because like normally I love Republicans. As you guys know, I love hogs. I love talking to hogs. I love hogs of all variety. Like I have no issue talking to hogs, right? Clipped. What do you mean? This is like, you know, this. What do you, what do you think hog watch is? But she was just like, there's like different kinds of hogs. Like, I'll be honest with you. I would have a much easier time talking to some dude, talking to some freak dude from the Midwest. Who's like an actual real die in the wool hog than like a Los Angeles hog. I've told you guys this before, 
but it bears repeating. You have to remember, hogs like right-wing Republicans in the cities are significantly worse than right-wing Republicans in like rural areas in most circumstances. I'm not talking about like the Klansmen, obviously, but like if you're in a very, if you're in a deep blue city, right? Like the Republicans here are the ones you see on Twitter, the ones who are like obsessed with being a Nazi and shit. Like they are so much worse than just like a dude who kind of was born into being a Republican and that's all he knows and like he can have fun and stuff. But a hog, they wouldn't even be considered a hog. I feel like like a like a deep blue city undercover Republican is gonna have like a sense of like paranoia. Like those are the people who think like they're gonna if they leave Studio City and they go to the Trader Joe's parking lot, they're gonna get like after the Trader Joe's parking lot because a Mexican person walked past them. You know, those are like the real psychos. They live in the suburbs. They are unimaginably annoying for the most part. It's hard to talk to them. They're friends with the cops who are their neighbors. Yeah, my favorite breed of hog is like a Texan hog who will look at me like I'm a fascinating animal. You know what I mean? Like my favorite type of hog is like a red state hog that is just like a straight rural guy who has never really even thought about his own personal convictions beyond what people have told him, beyond what his parents have told him. Because like one, I can have fun with that guy 100%. Okay. Two, that guy doesn't really have like a lot of serious convictions. I could probably convince that guy to be a Marxist Leninist. Like he's not tapped into the ideology of like, neoliberal uh defender of capitalism like the democratic party loyalists are or the republican party loyalists are in the deep blue areas so that's the type of dude who has never even like encountered someone being like hey maybe you should make more money like don't you hate your boss like he's not even you know he only knows that he hates his boss but he doesn't know how to communicate that that's my shit i love guys like that he's just racist and homophobic yeah i love guys like that because one i'm white okay like, I'm white enough that even if I tell him my name is Hassan, like, he's still going to be like, oh, you might be one of them good ones or like a unique animal that I've never encountered before. Like, that man has never seen an Albanian. You know what I mean? He has no idea that, like, Muslims can be white. That's the type of dude who is going to be fascinating, you know, somewhat more open-minded in general because he's going to be like, what the f*** is this thing? Like, what do you mean? Al Alabama? Like, Albanian? That's my shit. When do you stop talking to someone like your limit? I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't usually stop talking to people. I think I just give out vibes that I don't want to talk to people. Or if I am actually like toying with them, maybe they figure out that I'm like around. <laughs> I don't know. I yap, dude. I never stop yapping. I'm from Arkansas and the hogs here know Muslims can be white now because of the UFC. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, exactly. If you know a hog knows that a Muslim can be white, that's ex that is a very positive thing for them because they've seen like Khabib, they've seen like all the Dagestan dudes. So like for them, they're like, oh, those guys are sick. They're they're warriors. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, those guys, them them Muslims, them white Muslims from Dagestan. They're they're warriors. <laughs> anyway, so in any case, you know, I did that. Uh, had a fun combo. Had some fun back and forth. Good to, it's good to go out there and be social and be around human beings for once and not just like talk to a stadium full of people from all around the planet for eight hours a day in my room. Now I live in liberal ass New York, not upstate. And the only people that give off Islamophobic vibes around me are Zionists. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there are people that like the worst type of Republican is unironically straight up the worst type of Republican is a blue city Republican. We also say shit like Wallahi and inshallah in New York City now. So Muslims are super cool. Yeah. Anywhere where there's like a big population of Muslims, you're going to see a bunch of people like start adopting some of the <laughs> some of the mannerisms, some of the terminology like Toronto is I hate to give props to Toronto, but like or Inc or or London, like there's different parts where there's like big Muslim populations and a lot of people start saying inshallah or Wallahi. And what is this? Someone sent me this video. Okay, great. Who else? Who else? Do, you, do you like watch his on stream? No. <laughs> okay, but you just know him? Yeah, he's a, he's a bear. He's a daddy. <laughs> Yo, these people need to start watching my streams, man. What is happening? <laughs> I've become the guy who 
people just kind of know what the f I have fallen off. Okay. I guess it's better than not knowing who I am or not considering me to be hot, you know?